If you want to get more video views, then you need some tools. My favorite free tool is VidIQ. It's a Chrome extension that gives you all sorts of information about your videos and your competitors' videos. Armed with this information, you can make the changes needed to improve performance. I'm Brighton West, and in this video, I'm going to cover what you'll see when using VidIQ. If you're serious about getting more views on YouTube, then VidIQ is a plugin, an extension for Chrome that you need to be able to track how well your videos are performing and how well your competitors' videos are performing. Very simply, just go to um, you know, Google VidIQ Chrome extension. You'll find it here. Just install this into Chrome, and then once you open YouTube again, you will see um, this box show up and this is the best part of vidIQ in my opinion. This is a free plugin. You can uh, buy uh, into vidIQ and get additional features but this the free one really has a lot to offer. So just basically I'm going to look through here and the first part is the overview and that tells you kind of really what I look for there is how high is this first number. So that is the vidIQ score or how likely vidIQ thinks that YouTube is ranking your video highly and will share it with more viewers. So if you've got a score uh, that's kind of low, like 19, um, they're not. It's not likely to show up when someone does a search or someone um, is looking at a similar video. And YouTube's not likely to suggest it or to put it on the home page or things like that. And that's based on a few things. And you can see how many views. So this is a pretty low view video. Um, this is one of my videos. Um, it's only got a couple of engagements and I mean it's got good average view time but I guess that's because it's so short so it's um, nearly 80% of you know people with watch watch people watch nearly 80% of the video but it's only a nine second video this overview score is based on the things that are a little further down so really YouTube is looking at how popular is your video. So what's going on on social media here? So I've got just a, you know, uh, I mean a 3.3% engagement rate. The engagement rate um, is going to stay, you know, pretty low, I you know, normally, um, because most people are going to just watch your video without engaging. So that's not as important. But what's important is the fact that there are so few things here. All of these are zeros. So you can see here, that it's just got one like and it's actually got one dislike. Dislikes don't count negatively against this um, this algorithm, by the way. If people have an opinion, that's a good thing. Um, it hasn't. Nothing's happened on Facebook with this video. It hasn't been shared to Facebook and people haven't commented over there. Uh, nothing on Reddit or StumbleUpon or LinkedIn or Google+. Uh, so YouTube is looking out at the rest of the world in social media to see what people, how people are talking about your video. Um, there's a couple of tweets out there. You can see up at the top. Um, that's one of the things you can check out is who's tweeting who's tweeting about your video. So that's kind of the social is how much how much is going on on the internet. Then there's SEO. So this is something uh, that may be important to you. If you're a business owner, it's probably important to you is to get a high SEO score. So. You know, high score is probably over 50, I would say, is pretty good. But what we've got going on here is just 11. And if you hover over here, you can see things that are actionable, um, which are things that, that you can impact. So the tag count, um, I've just, it lists the tags. This is, this is a beautiful thing about vidIQ is it shows you anybody's tags for their video. So if you look down here, these are the video tags. I've got crow, bird, garden, birds, and gardening. Um, and so it thinks that I don't have enough tags um, and each of these you have a maximum score of five. So it's giving me one for, I guess, having a couple tags. Um, how often the tags, how popular those tags are. So if you've got like really popular tags in there, you get more points for tag volume. Um, keywords in the title. So are there good keywords that are in the, um, you know, Keywords here, uh, bird tearing up flower garden is, is, you know, it's just not something that people are necessarily searching for. Um, you know, keywords in the description and then this one here tripled keywords. So you definitely should score five out of five or at least close on this one. And what that means is that you've got keywords here and in your description and over in your tags. So you're repeating things and 
ideally it's phrases and not just words. So you're repeating phrases in your title, your description, and your tags. Um, so that, you know, you can kind of have that, uh, you can, you can tweak those things. Now, your performance is more how your video is doing, um, like how many of the tags are you ranked for. Um, so uh, I'm going to show you another, another video that's a little more popular in a second. Um, but this, to, to kind of get into some of these things. And, you know, a little bit of information about your channel. And um, so let's go from here. This was, this was mine, and this was an example of something that hasn't been optimized. And now let's go over to someone that does really well at optimization, um, and that's Daryl Eves. So you can see here that um, a few things are going on. One, his overview score is 63. Um, and, you know, with, with vidIQ, one thing I've noticed is you don't always get the exact same information for every video. But, um, you know, like we're not seeing the, the view duration, like what is the average, average view here. Um, but down in social, we're seeing that his engagement rate is lower than mine, but the sheer amount of engagement is way higher. So there have been, you know, close to a thousand YouTube engagements in terms of likes or dislikes or comments. Um, there's been some activity on Facebook um, that someone, that people have posted this video to Facebook and maybe commented on it or liked it or shared it. Um, there's been a little bit of activity on Reddit um, and some on Google+. So the, the, the idea here is the more you can get people to talk about and share your video, get it out there with the world, YouTube will recognize that and make it more likely that your video is shared through search or recommended or suggestions or things like that. So go down to SEO, which is really where Daryl rocks it. So he's got 71. Um, so you can see here he's got lots of fives out of fives. And um, if we look here, you can see things like, you know, Geekify Guys. So uh, he ranks number 14 for that. This is kind of his channel. So some of these are, um, you know, kind of things that he should rank well for. But Hoverboard Hockey, he's ranking number one. So I think it's in the top 20. Any tags where you're ranking in the top 20, they will show you this on vidIQ if you're ranking that well. So he's got a number of um, tags that are ranked well um, and Street Hockey on Hoverboards is number three. If someone were to type in that, he would be the third video down. He's definitely got, you know, Hoverboard Hockey here and if you look at, you know, he's got Ultimate Hoverboard Hockey here and he's got ho Hoverboard Hockey here. So he's got those tripled keywords that are being repeated in different places. Um, you know, a couple other things. He's got some links in his description. He's got lots of refers. So, so these are other websites that are sharing his um, his video. This this gets a little tricky. Sometimes I, I'm not convinced that this is being properly reported. Um, also, places where the video has been embedded. And yeah, so that's this this channel. And really quickly, I want to show you one more channel, which is Shaytards. And, you know, this guy is awesome at getting really high vidIQ scores. Um, so very close to 100 almost all the time. But he doesn't necessarily get good SEO scores. He's not really shooting for good SEO. People aren't searching, um, you know, for something like a, a family cannonball. They're really, they, they're following him. He's got, you know, 5 million subscribers. Um, and this is kind of a, a lifestyle channel that people watch on a daily basis. They're, it's not something where he's posting a video once a week or once a month and trying to get search traffic. Um, but still, 39 isn't too bad. Um, but you can see here, he doesn't have any ranked keywords. Um, but let's look up here. Um, you know, look at all that engagement in terms of YouTube shares and Facebook likes and Reddit upvotes, uh, you know, Google Plus, a lot of people shared this on Google Plus. And, um, and also, this one is great here. How many views per hour are happening? What's the velocity right now? Um, so every hour, 142 people are watching this video right now. So the higher that is, YouTube loves view velocity. If it's popular, if, it's, if your video is popular, they're going to share it with more people. 
Um, also, they like it when people watch for a longer time period. So this is actually a little low, just a 23% average view duration. Um, but this guy's channel is just so powerful. Um, you know, he's got 20 million views on this video. Um, so that was what I just wanted to do is a quick overview here of the basic vidIQ, the information that you can get, uh, the overview, the higher the score is, the better your video will perform on, um, on YouTube overall, the, the more views it's going to get. And these are just some of the things you can track whether you're doing well or not. Um, and you can impact these things by either sharing them on your own Facebook page, your own stumble upon, uh, really getting the word out there that your video exists and improving the SEO to make sure that you have a title that people are searching for and you've got those words in the right places um, so that you can bump up that vidIQ score. Once again, the vidIQ score is an approximation of the likelihood that YouTube will promote your video. No one knows the exact algorithm, but having an estimate is great. So you can make changes to your metadata and see how those changes affect your score. And vidIQ is a lot more than just this free plugin, but this video has already gotten longer than I expected, so I'm gonna cut it off now.